Well, it was a weekend that everybody was waiting for. The NFL draft came to a conclusion yesterday, and a trio of Broncos are headed into the NFL. Going back to yesterday in round five, John Hightower off the board at 168th overall to the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, John Hightower has a really cool story. Family, the loss of a best friend, and football have all led him to a moment that he never really could have seen coming just a short time ago. I saw your reaction on Twitter, man. What you got to say, Grim? We go on the field! What does it mean to you to be a part of the Philadelphia Eagles organization now? It's exciting. Uh, obviously, you've seen the video. Everybody excited. I'm just ready to go there and get to work. Let's get you caught up on some selections, including John Hightower Lewis, the wide receiver out of Boise State. John, has it hit you yet that you're an NFL football player? No, it hasn't hit me yet. Not yet. <laughs> when do you think it will? Maybe when I wake up. I don't know. I mean, could you have ever imagined this moment three years ago? You're transferring to Boise State from a junior college, and now you've you've turned yourself into an NFL football player. Uh, three years ago, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have imagined that this would this would happen. Not three years ago, no, sir. What was it about this connection prior to the draft process? I mean, were you guys in communication leading up to this pretty regularly? Did you have a, a feeling that they were going to take you? Uh, yeah, I've been talking to the Eagles. Um, since the draft process started and everything, uh, talked to several coaches day in and day out. Um, I had a good feeling about the Eagles, but I'm just glad that they chose me. Have you heard from any of your teammates or anything like that? Carson Wentz texted me. Uh, I talked to Jalen Hurts. Uh, we're just ready to get to work. They've already contacted you? Yes. Can you give us a little insight to what Carson Wentz told you? He was just telling me he ready to get, work, get to work. Uh, he was telling me congrats and everything, and can't wait for everybody to link up. What do you think about the Eagles? What do you think about their offense? What do you think about Carson Wentz throwing you passes? It's crazy to, to just think about Carson Wentz throwing me a pass. The other great receivers that I'll be working with, like it's, it's just an amazing feeling. John, I, I, I've never viewed you as being a real vocal guy, but if you pay attention to the way you play, you clearly played some inspired football. When you scored touchdowns at Boise State, you always pointed to the name on the back of your jersey. Why did you do that? Coming to the back of my jersey just to let people know like I'm different from the rest of the the rest of the high towers in my family. Uh, obviously, I point to the test with my arm that says "Long Live Slim" to uh, recognize my best friend. I always point to the sky to, to to point to him, talk to him, let him know that I'm still out here supporting him. He's up there, I'm down here, I'm supporting him. Just to let him know that I scored that touchdown for him. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna continue to do that. Hopefully, it's with the Eagles. Hopefully, I score a lot of touchdowns with the Eagles and can, can keep showing that and supporting. Are you wearing his necklace right now? I know your shirt has Long Live Slim on there, too. Yeah, I just, I just got this. Uh, I just got the necklace. Uh, had the shirt since the funeral. Still got it. Uh, wore it today. I figured today would be a big day for me. What was the best part about the day, John? We saw the video with your grandma. <laughs> just, being, just being with my family, having my family here and everything. Just, just being here with them able to be here in Maryland with them was just the, the best moment of the day. Mm -hmm. You moved all the way out to Boise to play college football, and now you're going to play professional football a little closer to home. Does that proximity mean anything to you where you're really not that far away from your family in Maryland? Uh, yeah, I um, went to Juco in Mississippi, so that was far from, from home, and then moved even further to Boise, so now my mother and grandmother can come to more games. My brother and sister can come to more games. Uh, definitely plays a big part. So John Hightower, not the only Bronco to go in the fifth round. I don't know how many people would have predicted Curtis Weaver sliding that far, but he did going in the uh, fifth round of the Miami Dolphins at 164 overall, Will. Yeah, so four picks before Hightower. We hear Curtis Weaver's name yesterday. He's headed to South Beach. The Miami Dolphins will play for – head coach Brian Flores. Yesterday, the ESPN NFL draft analyst talked about Weaver a little bit. Here's what they had to say. <laughs> Not gonna wow you when you see him kind of on the hook there, but what he does have is a knack of getting to the quarterback. He's one of those guys, I imagine you play a pickup basketball game, he wouldn't be one of the first guys to be picked and you'd never be able to get him off the court because he'd just win. He's a sneaky good athlete with a ton of production. 
So I know that Curtis slid a little bit in the draft, but you do have to like the fit down there in Miami. He's going to play for Brian Flores, who has a linebacker background. He's also going to fit perfectly into that 3-4 defense that the Dolphins operate out of. In terms of fit, it's something huge for each and every draft prospect. And you kind of have to ask, how does Ezra Cleveland, the second-round pick of the Minnesota Vikings, fit in there, Will? Yeah, Ezra off the board, 58th overall. He's headed to the land of 10,000 lakes, play for head coach Mike Zimmer. Now, we caught up with Ezra before he was chosen by the Vikings to get his thoughts on if he would like to stay at the tackle position, which, of course, he played at Boise State, or if he would mind switching positions to possibly inside the guard. Here's what he had to say. I like to think of myself as a team player. I'll play wherever. Here at Boise, you know how this year John played, like, left tackle, right tackle, guard. I like to think I could do that, too. It's just I never had the opportunity to here, and I could have easily done it without – without a gap in my gameplay. So wherever a team needs me, I'll play, and you know, I'll just do the best that I can there. Uh, again, heck of a week for the NFL draft. The news. We'll be right back.